I got a combinatorics question for you today, and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Suppose you have 17 mugs. Eight of them are red, four of them are green, and five of them are blue. And you wanna rearrange them on the shelf such that no two green mugs are next to each other. How many ways can you do this? So pause the video and try it on your own, or you could just watch me solve it. And if you wait to the end, we're gonna generalize this and I'm gonna hope somebody in the comments could answer the question, the generalized question. Okay, but let's work on this one for now. So the first thing we should note is that there's really no rules about the red and the blue mugs. So for example, let's say we had a setup where we had, I'm not gonna do this many mugs, but we'll do a small case, maybe uh, a red, followed by a green, followed by a blue, followed by a green. Okay, so this would be, and then maybe there's more mugs, but don't worry about that. This would be allowed because there's no green next to green. So something to note is we could switch a red and a blue and it's gonna still be a fine arrangement of the mugs. So if we switch the blue and the red, we'd have this arrangement, which is allowed, right? There's still no green and green. So what's the point? Well, the point is we can first arrange the red and blue mugs however we would like, and then figure out where the green mugs are allowed to go. So let's answer that question. Ignoring green, ignoring green, how many ways can we arrange the eight red mugs and the five blue mugs? Well, we're gonna have a total of 13 mugs, right? Eight plus five mugs. And we need eight of them to be red and five of them to be blue. Another way to say that is we need to choose eight of the locations to be red and the other five locations will automatically be blue. The number of ways to do that is 13, choose eight. Right, there's 13 mugs, we need to choose eight of them to be red, the other five will automatically be blue. Okay, so now we'll have these 13 mugs laid out. So I'll mark those in black, because they could be either red or blue, but it doesn't really matter when we're placing the greens. So here we have 13 mugs. Okay, so there are 13 mugs. And the question is, where can we place the green? Okay, and so we just have to make sure that there's no green next to green. Another way to say that is we can't put two greens between two of these mugs that we've already placed. We could put at most one green in between any of these two red or blue mugs, okay? So in each gap between these two mugs we already placed, we could either put a green or we don't put a green, okay? And we have to figure out how to do that for just the four mugs. And so how many total gaps are there between the mugs? Where there's, well, there's 12 here and there's an extra one on the end, right? We could place a green mug over here and there's an extra one on this end. So that's 12 plus two, there's 14. There's 14 gaps to choose from and we need to fill four of them with green mugs. So that's 14, choose four. So to answer the question, how many total ways are there to arrange these 17 mugs? It's the number of ways to arrange the red and blue mugs times the number of ways to place in the green mugs. And that's the answer. So now my question for you, and I would like somebody to put the answer in the comments, and I'll pin the best answer, is what happens if we change these numbers instead of having five, four, and eight, or eight, five, and four, what if we used N, 
M, and K with the same rules. So no green next to green. So let me know in the comments if you're able to solve this one and I'll pin the best answer. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.